Hey guys, Spirit of the Law here. I think every player has their own personal tier list of the civilizations in Age of Empires 2, which for the most part probably lines up fairly well with the objective data. That said, everyone's personal tier list is going to favor a few particular civs that for whatever reason just work really well with their playstyle. These are probably the civilizations you go around telling people you think are really underrated. But what about the AI? Does it have favorites, or maybe more accurately, are there civilizations it's especially strong when using? Maybe the script it follows for some civs is a little stronger, or maybe it's better at taking advantage of particular types of bonuses. The AI loves berries after all, so maybe it's especially good with franks, or because it favors archers and skirmishers in feudal age, it's best with archer bonuses. You might assume the AI is equally difficult regardless of civilization, or that strong civs for online play would be good for the AI as well, but there's really no good reason that either of those things have to be true. It'd be interesting to know. The problem, of course, is how would you possibly find out which civs the AI performs best with? You'd have to play at least 37 games against the AI, one for every civ, and somehow judge which ones are the strongest, and even then, that's not a very objective measure. In fact, just one game against each seems like far too little information. What you need is a tournament for the AI, where it plays every combination to see which civ wins the most often. It would take hundreds of games, more than 600 in fact. At 30 minutes each going for 12 hours a day, that would be 28 straight days of spectating this tournament. But what if I told you someone's done it? In fact, they didn't just test every possible 1v1 Civ matchup once, but three times. That's 102 games per civilization for a total of 1,785 games, all 1 vs 1s with the Extreme AI. It was a 17 month project that's been running since the early days of Definitive Edition, and the person who's asked to remain anonymous has sent me the results. Now, of course, given how long of a time period the data was gathered over, a number of balance changes were introduced to both the civilization and the AI itself. So we're really just getting a rough sense of the average strength of each civ over the last year and a bit. Now, one issue is that on Arabia, I was told 95% of the time the AI just opens with archers and skirmishers, has one large fight in late feudal or early castle, and then transitions to a three town center boom. To increase the variety of strategies, the person testing rotated between a large number of maps, making sure beforehand that the AI would play them properly. A side note is that the data also doesn't include the Sicilians and Burgundians as they were released just a couple of months ago. So with that, let's work our way through from the weakest to strongest with a particular focus on the extremes and outliers compared to the online win rates for the general player base over the same time period. Starting with the worst AI civilization, it turns out it's the Cumans, winning just 29.4% of their games. That's far lower than any civilization's performance in any patch if you look at online win rates for the general player base. The explanation passed along to me was that the Cumans often tried to go for a second feudal town center, but were consistently punished for doing this. Of course, the AI doesn't wall in feudal age, so that sounds pretty logical to me. If you've ever tried to just fast castle and three town center boom against the extreme AI, you know the AI likes to punish that with extreme feudal aggression. Other civilizations with a very poor win rate under 40% include the Italians, Mongols, Turks, Magyars, Burmese, and Saracens. Notice Mongols, Turks, and Magyars all have decent light cavalry, and the standard competitive play would be to open with scouts. The extreme AI never opens with scout cavalry though, so it makes sense these civilizations are underperforming. Italians, on the other hand, have been consistently weak for the general player base, and I think their low performance reflects more on the civilization over the last year than any major misplay by the AI. I have noticed the AI loves the Genoese crossbowmen as well, and seems to prioritize a castle for it early on, which, like the Cumans, might be opening it up to an early attack. It's also not terribly surprising to see the Burmese, who typically rely heavily on their Arambi, and the AI probably isn't using them particularly well. It rarely uses the sort of hit and run tactics that you would expect from even an intermediate player. The next wave is the 40% to 50% win rate group, which we'll call the underperformers, but not bottom tier. This includes Bulgarians, Berbers, Tatars, Indians, Koreans, Portuguese, Franks, and Slavs. Again, we see a disproportionately large number of cavalry civilizations showing up that normally would be doing much better online. Franks and Berbers are consistently strong civilizations, with Franks being unquestionably the best civilization statistically over the last year, so it's interesting that the AI really struggles to use them. Again, I think a lot of this comes down to the lack of scouts in its opening repertoire. Others like Bulgarians, Portuguese, and Koreans have been fairly weak before recent buffs, so they aren't too surprising here. Personally, I would have thought that Slav and Indian economies would be helping them out a lot more, as the AI enjoys booming on three town centers while maintaining zero idle time, helping it take advantage of that. The next group is the 50-55% to win rates, which we'll say are average or slightly above. 
If you want to experience a typical game against the AI without giving it an especially good or bad sieve, then this would be the group. This includes Spanish, Goths, Malay, Japanese, Malians, Persians, Celts, Teutons, and Britons. The big thing that jumps out to me here is it includes a lot of infantry civilizations, though Britons are a bit of a surprise. Having already passed by quite a few cavalry sieves and getting a few more in Persians and Spanish, plus now seeing a block of infantry sieves, you would think archers must make up the highest tier. Britons are generally considered one of the best sieves to go archers, and yet here they are just slightly above average. I think part of that is that the Briton strength largely comes in castle age with their extra range, and the AI doesn't plan ahead like that, so it could be throwing away its units far too early. Most of these civilizations actually have comparable win rates to online ranked games, except for the Malay, who seem to be much better in the hands of the AI. It could be that the AI is better at handling the unorthodox faster advanced bonus, as that can easily throw off players trying to rely on a build order. Because the AI relies more on general guidelines instead of very strict build orders, it could be it's less affected by that sort of thing. The next group are between 55 and 61%, which brings us right up to the edge of the top 5 civs. This includes Incas, Khmer, Byzantines, Mayans, Aztecs, and Lithuanians. Here in the top 10, we're starting to see the American civilizations appear, which is around where they perform online as well. Incas are typically a bit higher relative to the other American civilizations online, but that win rate is also inflated by a very aggressive tower rush that the AI doesn't do, so to see them a bit lower isn't too surprising. One massive outperformer here is the Byzantines, who are typically a below average sieve, so the 59% win rate for the AI is a dramatic improvement. I think that says a lot about the AI's love of using trash units, as well as the fact that the AI gets hung up a lot attacking buildings. Remember, this is the AI playing against itself, so bonuses that help it exploit other AI are going to be reflected in the stats. Byzantine's greater building HP means their buildings are going to be able to distract enemy units for a longer period of time. Lithuanians also have bonuses in text for trash units, plus the AI is quite diligent about collecting relics, so it's not too surprising to see they perform much better than other cavalry sieves. On the other hand, the Khmer are really interesting to see here, as they're generally average to below average, and it's difficult to explain why the AI is so strong with them. The AI doesn't garrison villagers in houses or make use of skipping prerequisite buildings as far as I've seen, so it's effectively playing without a couple of its bonuses. One thought I had is that since Malay also outperform expectations, it could be the AI benefits disproportionately from access to battle elephants, for whatever reason. It could be that they counter enemy archers and skirmishers so well, but it's hard to say for sure. The next three, which are number 3, 4, and 5 overall, are tied with exactly 65 wins and 37 losses. The three civilizations are Vikings, Ethiopians, and Chinese. Notably, all three are typically played as archer civilizations, with a strong feudal age economy to back it up. While none of the three are consistently top 5 online for the general player base, it's fair to say they're definitely above average. There's an undeniable pattern here that the AI loves its archer sieves, and seems to perform very well with them. Next, at number 2 with a very strong 67 wins and 35 losses, we have the Huns. Apparently, even the AI appreciates not worrying about getting housed, and according to the stats, this is a top 5 sieve for the overall player base as well. Yet again, it's a civilization very capable of going into archers and skirmishers, this time followed up with the option of knights or cavalry archers. In practice, I found the AI as Huns tends to lean toward opening with militia, which is an effective strategy in AI mirror games that often disrupts either foragers or gold miners. So who does that leave for the number one spot? We've already seen the Franks, so it can't be them this time. It turns out the number one sieve for the AI is one that's had just a 46% win rate for online players in the last year. For most players, the sieve appears unremarkable, but the AI would probably say they're underrated. At an incredible 67% win rate, it's the Vietnamese. Seeing an archer sieve at the top shouldn't be a big surprise, but the fact it's Vietnamese in particular is something I would not have predicted. If you think about it though, it kind of makes sense. They're the only archer sieve that have access to battle elephants, which we've seen before in the case of Khmer and Malay are associated with unusually good performance for the AI. They also have very good trash units, which appeared to help Byzantines outperform as well. Of course, it had to be an archer sieve as well given how the list was shaping up. Put it all together and you have the Vietnamese, the favorite sieve for the AI. So next time you want to fine tune the challenge you get from the computer, now you know which sieves to pick. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.